all right so we are back for another video and today we're gonna check out the eco oh2 um so this is really interesting because this is the cheapest um eco that we are checking out um sub 100 dollars here i've seen this for 80 dollars and that uh, we might be seeing maybe even more discounts in the future so that's really interesting and actually for 80 dollars um of course eco does really high quality stuff as well so much like the do news of the world um ecos have really nice packaging overall and really nice build quality as well so this is a dynamic um driver earphone here occ silver plating cable dynamic sound comfortable to wear and of course some information 100 db in sensitivity 20 to 20 khz in frequency range 32 ohm impedance so really cool here um overall in terms of the you know box itself again one of the better boxes that i've seen for that price range and yeah they really spend on their build quality and boxes that's nice and of course this is going to be our unboxing experience of course other ecos that we have checked out before are more of a maybe a lively kind of tuning with the ample base and you're getting this magnet which is really cool here and look at the packaging here guys uh, look at the graphic design that's really cool it's a very uh, modern kind of design here with the color blocking and stuff opening it up this is going to be our unboxing experience and that is your eco and i'm getting the gold color here which is really nice and everything is branded let's uh, put that aside let's check out what you're getting in the box and uh, you're getting some eco uh, maybe manuals here which is really cool so you're getting a kind of a letter thing going on and inside of course you're getting some manuals and some information and of course you are getting your case and you're getting a really generous selection of tips here um this is what eco does really cool here overall you're getting some um foam tips as well and also some silicone tips and the silicone tips is not your typical look as you guys can see it's kind of elongated which is really nice i am cable so yeah the packaging here for 80 dollars uh, maybe the best that i've checked so far um, it's not the thickest cable but it does feel good in the hand it's not also the softest cable as well but really good feeling in the quality department here and uh you are actually getting this connector as well and look at this guys um that is a really nice looking i am the shade of the gold that they chose um looks really sophisticated for me um yeah and the build quality is top notch one of the best that i've checked in the, that price range for sure and also um, how it feels in the hand the build quality um this is top notch for the price that you're paying for maybe one of the best that i've seen in the 80 dollars range or even maybe the best that i've seen i like this over um your usual blondes your tfz's maybe unique um you know see-through kind of thing going on at the side so you can see the drivers there so if you value you know the looks and the aesthetics of your iems um ecos is definitely uh you know the brand that you should consider it's the, actually not that big of an iem it's a smaller iem here maybe it reminds me of the ssr ssps of the world uh, but maybe the fit here will be a bit better because of that contours um it's the you know quite small iem so for smaller ears um this might be really nice for you and um getting some holes as well eco design and let's go um quite inside the ear as well we're gonna put some tips later yeah you're even getting a pin here which is really cool so we are now wearing it on the ear and it's actually very light of an im quite comfortable to wear actually maybe one of the most comfortable that i've worn because of that smaller design and also very light as well so um yeah comfort top notch here for me in terms of the ceiling i'm not that good for me average to below average um because yeah it doesn't you know go inside the ear that much um so this might be really good for some casual listening here and uh going to um stability i'm not the most um stable still okay but uh you know not the most stable as uh compared to maybe your ims with fins um those will be more stable but uh yeah the comfort here for me is top notch um for for people with smaller ears um this will be really really nice for you all right so let's try to listen to some tunes let's listen to some perm by bruno mars first impressions i'm surprised how controlled um the bass here is so maybe even compared to more expensive ecos um the bass is a bit more controlled so actually this measures um you know quite flat in the bass region which is uh, really surprising for me um but it does have a dip in around maybe 9k 10k region actually maybe compared to your tfz's um this is a bit more controlled in the top end so it's still quite lively in the presentation it's in still in the more lively side uh, but maybe compared to your tfz's blondes of the world um this is a bit more controlled it's definitely a bit more bright compared to maybe your moon traps of the world this has a bit more top end for me um this still has that double horns on top uh, which makes the presentation quite lively uh but uh yeah not that you know overly done for me here not overly aggressive which is quite nice so let's go to the bass first the bass for me has a touch of boom there but uh, again controlled bass for me nice tuning overall just a touch of boom um, just to provide you still a bit more fun 
I would say this won't pass for the base heads. The base has ample impact for me in the mix, um, even compared to maybe the Duno Titan S. The base impact for me here is what I'm looking for for the base um, compared to the Duno Titan S. Actually, for me, the Duno Titan S, um, the impact there, the weight is a bit less than what I would like, but here, the weight is right where I want it to be. You know, not boring to listen to, not a boring base for me. So yeah, the, the quantity is uh, right where I want it to be, but, but still, this won't be for base heads. But I like the controlled nature of the base, and again, and the flat presentation going to some love of my life by queen checking out some male vocals here actually the male vocals maybe still a touch recess than what i would like but very close here so um if you see the graph here the mids is uh you know quite nicely positioned in the mix but still the male vocals you know not the most uh you know forward that i have listened to so your duno titan s will still have uh, i would say better vocal presentation a bit more open sound compared to this so the vocals here is uh, gonna be a bit maybe a bit thinner for me to listen to and a bit smaller for me on the mix so still for vocals i prefer the duno titan s but uh, again the presentation here um i like that it's not shouty to listen to um that's why i'm never gonna give you up by rick astley so going to the vocals of rick again um you know not the thickest that i've listened to so um this actually may be in the middle for me so this is not an overly thin vocal for me uh but uh yeah this won't match up compared to your other maybe a bit more vocal centric ims um this is not a vocal centric im for me but yeah the presentation for me i like that it's not shouty to listen to so compared to the duno titan S, um, this is a bit more toned down, a bit less shouty, a bit less aggressive for me to listen to. So for a longer listening session, you won't have an issue with this. Actually, for female vocals, the positioning is really nice here. It's right where I want it to be. It's just the male vocals that I have an issue with. Uh, so the vocals are quite okay, but not the best that I've listened to in this price range. Let's try um, a celebration by Joe Satriani. Let's look at the top end. Actually, going to the top end here, um, this might be a mixed bag for you guys um, because there's still some double horns on top here, but uh, there's that massive dip at around 9K to 10K. And actually, that presentation makes the top end a bit less aggressive for me to listen to. You remove a bit of aggressiveness there. Um, that can be good for a longer listening session. However, that kind of presentation makes um, some instruments like, for example, here in guitars, I'm looking for a bit more maybe shine for me on top. So it can be an advantage in some genres, but for some genres, it can be a boxed off for me. So so um, actually the Duno Titan S gives me that shine, gives me that bit more luster for me on top compared to what you're getting with the OH2s. We're going to soundstage above average here for me. Um, not the biggest that I've heard in this price range, but uh, quite good. The separation here is more in the smoother side of things. Um, so separation is not that black and white for me. So so just average for me here. In terms of detail retrieval, not that good for me as well. So uh, much like your other maybe moon drops, the detail retrieval, the micro dynamics here is not as good. So if you want uh, detail retrieval, you might still want to consider uh, other BA counterparts compared to this one. All right, so that's my take with the Eco OH2. So um, what are my overall thoughts in this? So I actually enjoyed my listen here. Uh, while it didn't you know, beat out my other favorites, um, I do think for the $80 price range, um, this is well worth the price that you are paying for. We're getting a really good um, package here overall, maybe one of the best package um, in the $80 range that I've seen. Lots of tips, really nice build quality, really nice cable. And also the sound as well for an eco kind of sound. Um, it has the eco vibes, but with more controlled, flat bass, um, nice positioning for the female vocals. Male vocals nearly there in the, the top end as well. You know, not that aggressive for me to listen to a bit more relaxed compared to your other dynamic drivers i'm um, so for listening for a long listening session you won't have an issue with this and i think that is the main um selling point of this um this is a bit more relaxed compared to your other moon drops or do news of the world if you're into that um this will be perfect for you um however for me on the other side i do still like my other maybe top contenders in the price range just the sound i do prefer other iems compared to this one but i do think yeah for the price that you're paying for um this is well worth the price that you are paying for all right so that's my take with the eco oh2 so actually for ecos uh, maybe one of their challenge is to be able to provide really nice you know packaging and uh, still keeping the price down because uh for sure that pins that magnets um you know they do cost uh, a bit more in the uh, of course you do need to pay for that and because of that maybe the price goes up a bit in some of their iem so it's kind of a balancing act for them but i do appreciate them you know giving a bit more for the price that you are paying for um, a bit more maybe character to the iem and if you appreciate that um ecos is definitely the brand that you can consider actually i might go with the highest mm2 next um so that is uh what I'm targeting or maybe also the NM2s. So I'm still catching up with my reviews. But of course, let me know what IMs you like me to check out down in the comments below. Of course, um, leave a like and subscribe for content like this in the future. Thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you guys in the next MC Gold review. Goodbye.